Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here. Today is First Impressions Friday. This is going to be a new segment where we dive into a fairly new application and give you some early thoughts on it. Something that is trending in the space to give you an idea of uh, what it's like before you jump in. Now today's First Impressions Friday is sponsored by Woven. Here's a little bit more about them before we dive in. So this month's sponsor is Woven. It is great to have them back as a sponsor. If you don't know what Woven is, it's a powerful calendar and scheduling application. It's actually my go-to calendar application and helps me schedule the majority of my meeting. Features include the likes of scheduling tools to be able to organize those meetings, whether they're group ones or individual, multi-calendar support, video conferencing for connecting apps like Zoom, and templates for saving you time with those routine meetings. You can get Woven for free in the description below and check out more. A huge thanks to Woven for coming on as a sponsor. So today we are checking out Zenkit's new application. It is called Hypernotes. Um, the reason why Zenkit um, is impressing me at the moment is because they've got themselves a suite of applications which they're releasing fairly regularly inside of this suite. So they have the Zenkit to do which we featured before. They have Zenkit chat for team communication. They also have Zenkit which is their main Zenkit base I believe it's called which is their main project manager. And now Zenkit Hypernotes which is still in its very early days. I was able to get a, a pass um, but as you can imagine it is a Rome like competitor that aims to make your note-taking more connected. Uh, we're going to give it early opinions. Again, this is in its development stages, so don't give it a full sort of battering because uh, it's not officially out yet. So here we are on homepage. It's quite nice. One thing I quite like about the fact that you can create these notebooks is that they're quite like 3D animated when you land on them. I'm guessing you'll be able to sort of modify the look of them. Um, as you can see, you can preview up here. Sort of when you land on it, um, looks like you're opening like an ebook. <laughs> it's got that sort of vibe around it. Um, but let's sort of dive into how you get started. So I'm assuming you make a new page here. The UI and interface automatically sort of feels, looks like Dynalist and, and workflowy in terms of these bullets that help you to create new pages um, and obviously um, new notes. So let's start taking a few notes. Maybe we'll write a few book notes um, here for a moment. Okay, so in terms of the experience of writing, it seems fairly fast, fluid, easy to use, very typical to other applications. Now, the one thing you can do is obviously pop open a new page whenever you see or um, have a bullet that you've created. So I could go into a bit more detail on this topic per se, um, or I could obviously keep it very simple. Now, in order to go ahead and create a backlink, you can obviously attach it to whatever's already been created. Um, but in this case, if I wanted to create a bi-directional link, I press the hashtag and type away. Okay, so that basically creates a page um, and the new page is created inside of the notebook. So as you can see here, um, I've opened this new page and as you can imagine, it's mentioned, has a mention and unlink mention of the main page that we have here. So if I go back to the pages area, you can see that freedom has been created. It's quite a nice little sort of like automatic process. So if you were to do the two links, the two brackets on the side, you can then link to an existing page and that's how I believe you create bi-directional links inside of Hypernotes. So the pages are quite an interesting view because you can quickly sort of scan through them uh, and get this sort of holistic view. I really like this approach to it. Um, but over here you've got some different views. Um, you've got something called the table view, which I do believe is inside of Rome as well. Um, you can see here, for example, how many words, um, the actual amount of tasks in it, which we'll come to in a moment, comments, and when it was created, and you can star it up here as well. You can also select it um, up here and delete it, um, and you can even focus on the graph, so you can actually bring up the graph. We'll actually come to that in a moment because I want to work down uh, through this page. So with this notebook, you can also have daily, so you can create a page for today, and that simply logs the day. I believe it might do that automatically, but you can see here that Oh, here we go. It's got an actual date relation to it so that it um, links it as a, uh, a new page, but also as today's date. So if I go back to pages, you'll be able to see today's date as one. And if I were to say something like reading the book in this case, then we'll see how that relationship builds up. 
Okay, so what I did is I actually um, I created a directional link to Man's Search for Meaning and Freedom. And as you can see, they've uh, got mentions here automatically uh, for both of those. So if I were to go to Pages and Freedom, you'd be able to see that it's been mentioned twice. Um, and as you can see, you can pop it open a little bit like how Rome works to some extent. So daily is a handy way to create a brand new note for your day. It's very simple to daily notes and how they work. I'd say the different thing that you can create is these tasks. Now the tasks are very, very simple. For example, if I were to add um, a few tasks here, you can see here that they're all super simple. However, you can add a little bit more detail um, than you would inside of other applications, a little bit more sort of um, recognizable compared to other apps. Um, you know, like Obsidian and Rome have these plugins. However, it's not as say simplistic for somebody who's brand new to this concept. So if I were to select it as a Thursday, you can see you get sort of a basic um, task management setup here and um, you can actually move them um, and it's part of that notebook. Um, so if I go over to pages, it doesn't show in this main column, but if you go up to the top right hand corner, you can see any tasks associated to this actual day and you can pop that open on the right hand side if you wish and that allows you to sort of see um, anything there. And you can also hide daily notes from your actual main page view if you want to. So you can only see sort of the core notes uh, if you wanted to remove any sort of mess, um, as you can imagine. So in terms of the graph, um, this is really like sort of basic to some extent, but it actually works quite well. You can actually um, connect up pages. So in this case, if I were to um, connect, so if I wanted to do find or create a page, so in this case, I'm going to create a page. So there we go. So you can create little uh, relationships automatically using the graph, which I have, I'm not sure you can do inside of the other applications. If I go back to pages, that page has been created and that mention's already been started. So that could be quite helpful for studying and research, especially if you want to start branching out onto a topic. That's just a little sort of like link that you can make. Um, so let's see if I can link this to a certain page so I can build relationships, which is quite cool. I'm not sure I've seen that in other applications. So if I go to March, you can see that it's been mentioned here. That's quite a cool little sort of uh, connection there. I like that. So all in all, that is what Hypernotes is like. Now, if you compare it to say Obsidian, it's definitely not got the robust abilities of Obsidian and Rome uh, in terms of their sort of hacky features, but this is quite a good introduction for those who are wanting to get into bidirectional linking, but don't necessarily have all of the skill set that they would to jump into say Obsidian. So I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on this application and my early, early impressions of this are quite good. Um, in terms of, you know, actually getting set up and getting started, it's not too bad. Let's just check a few of the sort of micro um, experiences in this. So um, let's see, uh, is there any way I can change the design? So upgrading wise, in terms of the plan, it looks like you can see here that it's gonna be $5 a month uh, if you paid annually and $8 if you didn't. Still cheaper than Rome, but in that middle ground pricing, you can get dark mode, which is quite nice. Um, I wanna, ah, here we go. Um, <laughs> I wanna see some uh, modification to what the note looks, uh, what the actual thing looks like. So that's quite cool. So you can really give uh, more customization uh, you know, text colors and things like that. I've probably made it look awful, but you can actually choose what the note actually has, like whether you want numbers to be paged consistently or the graph and, and tasks and things like that. Actually, this is a really, really nice, it's like uh, Obsidian is um, Rome and more of the Pro Tools and this is more of a entry level tool. Um, actually, it's quite well positioned, I think, in the market. Um, so I'm impressed. And as I said, it sort of lines up with the Zenkit suite that you've got here. Um, which I believe you can start connecting up. Um, if you were to connect up to do, uh, maybe you would be able to export your to-dos or be able to link them. So that brings itself, if you already use the Zenkit tools, into sort of a, a, a sort of suite of tools, which is quite nice. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's review of Hypernotes. I'm impressed. Um, early days, I'm gonna give it a 7.5, which is a good uh, sort of solid review in my opinion. So hopefully you enjoyed today's first Impressions Friday. Big thanks to Woven for sponsoring. Make sure you subscribe, guys, and I'll talk to you all very soon. I'd love to hear what you think of Hypernotes. Uh, pop it below and uh, I'll have a good old read of the comments. Anyway guys, cheerio.